Hi guys, it is G-Man here. Guys, welcome to the first episode of the Gamer Talk Show. We're 10 minutes. I'm gonna, we're gonna be talking about whatever's hopping, popping in the games we're playing. Could be any game, could be Rush. But let's hop into the first episode. What's it about? The Real Review Man, update 11. Was it good? Alright guys, we're going to be running through it. Make sure you're dropping your comments down below. We're dropping two episodes every week. So drop your comments down below what you want us to touch for the next episode. But we're going to talk about update 11. How do we really feel about it? Hardcore true, no filtering, nothing but the truth. Alright, we got dungeons. We got dungeons. We got dungeons. How do we feel about dungeons? Let's just be 100% honest about dungeons okay i like dungeons a lot is it better than co-op let's get straight to the point is it better than co-op is it a fair trade i know a lot of you at first were like oh my god no we want co-op no we need co the tune has changed some of you won't even admit it but i know it's changed man dungeons is 100 percent better than co-op by a million if you think I'm wrong, make sure you comment down below. The Gamer Talk Show is where we're going to be going back and forth, okay? And the guys that are watching this, man, shout out to you because there's no gameplay, so I know you guys are, are really about that life. So make sure you're commenting. Okay, so we got Dungeons. A1 for me. A1 for me. We got King Pudding. Um, the Bomber Monster. These are all Dungeon stuff. King Pudding as a boss. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> Bomber Mask Monster. Amazing. Like, there's nothing I can say that's... I can't say one bad thing about dungeons. Of course, I know my account's different, but I can't say one bad thing about dungeons. You got the modifiers. Yo, dungeons aspect, dungeons from the update, amazing. What else do we got? What else do we got? Uh, the ta the new talents, we got some new talents. We got the Boris, mm, engineer, magic cauldron. I'm not gonna lie to you. Our first talent wave was hunter, what do we get? We got Hunter, Sharp, Cold, Priestess, and Reaper. Um, and out of those, I Cold Mage is the only one I can really see. Of course, I saw shout out to A Friend Gaming. He got Priestess up there. But man, update eleven. Boris. Obviously, some people don't have it. <laughs> I thought everybody had it. You guys shouted me out. In the, shouted me in the comments. Hey, gee, man, we don't all have it. Okay, Engineer, everybody has Magic Cauldron. I showed you guys how Magic Cauldron can be played dangerous in PvP. So, the talents, pretty good. We got some balance changes. We're gonna get the balance changes. First, we gotta talk about the new hero, Mary. Now, this is the second hero. This is where we start. Mary, garbage. Like, wow. Elementalist, trash. Like, we haven't gotten a good hero in a, a little while, a little while. We're gonna skip on mary she's just not great we got some changes to the career quest which we're now getting faction cores better fragments and even legendary cards like they added like uh chapters to it which is really really good so that's another good change so far i think mary's the only uh, it's the only thing i see bad so far i'm not gonna lie to you guys the, uh, this is a pretty Pretty, pretty good update. I know you guys are screaming right now. Okay, other improvements. They claim that they fixed the connection improvements, and some of you for sure let me know that. It's still having connection problems, and I'm having them too. What's happening to me, I don't know if it's happening to you, let me know down below, is like, when you, it's like on the third connection issue, then uh, whatever they implemented will go into effect. You'd see like their field grayed out, and then they wouldn't be able to like like bother both fields but it's definitely not on the first try it's definitely after a few uh client leaderboards i think they put some rewards there balance changes they just ended the robot's career and it's over it's not happening again he's gone he's done he's finished he's not coming back and to, i'm not lying you guys he got like a meteor rework like he's dead don't robot is done like for those who spend money on meteor like getting up to high levels <laughs> me i didn't i just got robot and that was it <laughs> I, just got, 
I am not falling for those tricks, yo. I just got rid of that. That was it, yo. They took Grindstone out of the game. They destroyed. Oh, okay. Robot's dead. What else they do? Boost Blade Dancer. Epic. Blade Dancer came out. She's one of the only legendaries. That is a damage dealer that didn't took so long to get reworked so that she's playable. But now, all over the ladder, super playable. Super top deck now for sure, top three. Cultus got another boost as well. He's just, now, he, Cultus is deadly now, but still people are, will probably go play dance over, but for me, I got a level 11 guns. I can play Cultus and kill all of you, easily. Easy. Scrapper, 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 scrapper. Scrapper got a nerf. Scrapper got a nerf, but honestly, me using the Scrapper still in my Inquisitor deck, I don't see it. I don't really see it. He Gadget got a nerf, like. <laughs> Gadget's last nerf was pretty hectic, okay? But dang, Gadget is done now. It's the end of Gadget. Gadget's toast. Gadget is toast. And of course, guys, make sure you hop over into the Discord so you can see all the patch notes yourself. You want to go in depth and read them to know exactly because yo, they gave it all. Devs give it, give it to us all exactly everything that's changing. Trickster, um, nerf. I mean, why would you nerf Trickster? Trickster's like, but they did some changes to Trickster, nerfing Trickster. So we got two hero hits of giving us a bad hero. Uh, Magic Dust, Biggest Scam, Rush Royale, still to this day. Uh, now you can add faction cores to target whatever faction you want your legendary from, which is like, don't do it, I did it, you'll regret it, trust me. Don't do it. <laughs> now we got some changes to the regular events. Okay, now now instead of the decks, uh, let's see, for Mirror Match, first one's Mirror Match. Uh, now instead of decks of random units, you'll be playing a random fixed deck. So there's, they're gonna have a set number of pre-made decks, which they already had, but now they're just telling us. We thought it's not random. You realize you never use ever seen certain units, so it's definitely not random. If it was ever random, you know the decks you'd be playing. So we already knew that it wasn't really random, and we already know it wasn't really a mirror match. We we already knew that. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, talents are now available in the events too. That's pretty good. Rush for Glory and the Royal Trials, uh, talents as well. And here at Tavern, four new seasonal quests added. Amulets, they added Amulet of Growth, Amulet of Weakness, more changes, player profiles displaying. That's pretty sick. Um, I'll show you guys that. And then they added the ability to invite players to join your clan after the battle. Epic. Now, we're still in update 11. They did do an emergency quick fix on dungeons. I have to include this in the video. If I did it before, it would be just death for this. Death. So now you can still continue to play the floors without keys with a friend or a clan mate. The waves will be reduced. Lanterns will not be used when playing through floor without a key. Okay, so they did a few changes and help attempts limit has been removed that is amazing now they you see it's still 11 so i gotta add it in here okay fix a bug um which prevented leaving the counter clicking and kicking in active players fix the display of the percentage of wins just a bunch of other stuff and the last one which is going to be the biggest a number of fixes related to the connection and synchronization which is going to be the shaman let's wrap it up guys okay oh um, let's wrap this up update 10 i mean update 11 we are gonna give update 11 a big eight let me know your guys rating down below overall best one of the best updates that's come out in a while it's, it's like the past four updates the talents, you know, last update kind of gave us, easing us into the change of like how the deck, the game plays. Yo, update, amazing. Let me know what you guys think down below. I know a lot of you guys think differently. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And make sure you comment. What are we going to do on episode two?